Hello friends, welcome to our channel Mechanical Motivator. In this video, we are going to see an introduction to projection of point. Once you understand the projection of points, it will be very easy for us in understanding the lines and plane. So first concept is just consider this as four quadrants. First quadrant, second quadrant, third and fourth quadrant. Now we are going to introduce two concepts, that is two important words. One will be the HP. HP is the horizontal plane and VP is the vertical plane. These two will be ruling your EG in upcoming units. Just imagine if you are standing on a flat surface, uh, consider you are standing on your floor in your room. So when you, stand, when you stand near the wall, the floor will be your horizontal plane and wall will be your vertical plane. So just imagine the same concept. Here also we are going to apply the same thing. And one more thing is, uh, in childhood days or physics, we have uh, already seen uh, if you keep, if you show a light behind an object, means what happens? A shadow will be falling on the wall, right? So same concept, try to imagine here also. Now we are going to keep a point. A point is a one dimensional one. So when we keep a point, when we show a light or we, when we see from, uh, from front view, means automatically what happens? The image will be falling on the vertical plane. So now you won't be understanding the exact concept. Step by step, I will be telling, just try to follow it. So there are four points, point A, point B, point C, point D. So point A is above HP. Just consider this is the horizontal plane. Entire thing will be horizontal plane and this is the vertical plane. Point A is above HP in front of VP. Point B is above HP behind VP. Point C is below HP behind VP. Point D is below HP in front of VP. I'm just representing the point with respect to the horizontal and vertical plane. That's it. So now we're going to focus only on the first quadrant. So in our engineering graphics, we'll be dealing only with the first quadrant. For third quadrant, for only perspective view, we'll be following the third quadrant. Uh, here we'll be getting the third angle projection. In first quadrant, we'll be getting the first angle projection. 90% will be dealing with only the first angle projection and first quadrant alone. But anyhow, I will be explaining the concept of all the quadrants and at the end of it, I will also giving a shortcut to solve the problems. So just consider the first quadrant. So this is just take a book, okay? A left hand side book, take try to keep it vertical and right hand side of your book, divide the book into two half. First off, left hand side, keep vertical and second off, try to keep horizontal. Your textbook or notebook, whatever maybe. And this is the dividing line and this is the reference line. So whichever thing you are keeping vertical is the vertical plane and whichever is horizontal is the horizontal plane. Now I'm going to keep a point. This is a point A. Okay, point A, B, C or whatever maybe. Just imagine a point and name it as A. When we see from here, this is the observer. When we see from front view, the point, this point will be falling on the vertical plane, just like the shadow. Uh, uh, correlate or just imagine and relate with the shadow image which I said before. So when we see from different view, this point will be falling on the vertical plane. When we see the same point from top view, this point will be falling on the horizontal plane. So this is the concept. Come to the third image. See here the point A. This is the this is the point and it is represented as capital A. When we see from front this point will be falling on vertical plane and we will be naming it as a dash so it will be at certain distance that uh, that and all they will give you the question clearly no need to worry about this one just understand the concept alone so this arrowhead will be denoting front view and this arrowhead will be denoting the top view in the in this image what happens when we see the, when we see the same point from the top what automatically happens is the point a will be falling on the horizontal plane and it is represented as <coughs> small a for top view will be representing as A, B, C, so on. For front view will be representing as A dash, B dash, C dash, so on. So H is the distance from the horizontal plane. So this is the horizontal plane. It will be at a distance of H and this is the vertical plane. So uh, the point A, this point will be at a distance of D from vertical plane. So distance and all they will be giving the question. So this is just a pictorial representation. The concept is we are going to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise. So automatically what happens? So this is the reference line, right? So when you rotate your book, when you rotate the horizontal portion 90 degree, automatically both the vertical and horizontal will be lying on the same line. Just try to imagine if we rotate this plane 90 degree clockwise, both vertical and horizontal will be in a straight line. So 
a dash we will be having a dash on vertical plane that is front view on vertical plane on top view on the horizontal plane this is the concept so just see here we going to represent only like this in first quadrant the concept is front view will be falling on vp on top view will be falling on hp so above hp in front of vp i clearly explain this point is above hp in front of vp now we will be seeing second quadrant so second quadrant so just imagine this as a transparent uh, plane because <coughs> for all the quadrants we going to just observe from here so this is your front view when we observe what happens this point will be falling on this vertical plane so this is the point this is from when, when we see from front view the point will be falling on the vertical plane so front view will be falling on vertical plane on top view will be falling on the horizontal plane so this is the object so just consider this as a transparent plane then only we can easily view <coughs> now then next step is we going to rotate the horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree then what happens this plane will be merging with the vertical plane so just imagine the both the planes will merge together and the distance alone will be differing and that will be represented in the diagram from the second quadrant what we can say above xy line we will be getting hp and vp horizontal plane vertical plane is both above hp and horizontal plane will be having top view and vertical plane will be having front view this is the, the, the second this point this point will be above hp it's above hp and behind vp in third quadrant just imagine the point a and this is a transparent plane when we see from front so just when we see from front the point a the front view will be falling on the vertical plane and top view will be falling on the horizontal plane just like this and it is some it is at a distance of d and h respectively so these things they will give in question uh, the the concept is front view will be falling on vertical plane on top view will be falling on the horizontal plane just keep that alone in your mind now rotate the horizontal plane clockwise 90 degree then what happens horizontal plane will be going above the reference plane xy is the reference plane so horizontal plane will be above xy and uh, vertical plane will be below the reference plane so just we will be getting like this so top view so top view will be having uh, in horizontal plane and front view will be having in the vertical plane and it will be the point the top view will be represented as a b c we won't be having dash and front view will be represented as a dash b dash c dash so on for front view we will be representing dash for top view we won't represent it as a dash so it will be at a distance of d and h respectively from the reference plane <coughs> in third quadrant we can say uh, top view will be above and front view will be below and top view, uh, above x y line will be getting hp and below x y line will be getting vp it's very clear from the uh, diagram so below see this point <coughs> this point is below horizontal plane and behind vertical plane now we're going to see fourth quadrant so fourth quadrant we'll be having a point here right so we will be having a point when we see from front this front view the point will be falling on the vertical plane the front view will be falling on the vertical plane and the top view the top view will be falling on the horizontal plane see here the front view is represented as a dash and top view is represented as a uh, no need to draw this square and it show to 90 degree and all just understand where front view and top view falls that concept one try to understand and uh, consider this as a transparent plane then only we can easily easily, easily visualize it so uh, here this here see clearly the h distance is greater than d so automatically what happens uh h we will be having the a dash so we will be having front view at a larger distance right so it's a, a logical one so h is greater than d means just uh, imagine the distance they will be giving the question same concept we're going to rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise so automatically both horizontal and vertical will be coming below the reference line so reference line is the xy so just see here uh horizontal uh, front view will be having a dash and top view is a Front view will be at a distance of h and top view will be at a distance of d. Okay, so both front view and top view will be below x y line, and uh, we will be having h p v p below the x y line, and this point will be below h p and be in front of v p. So consider this whatever we saw here. Consider these things alone. It will be it's very much helpful and useful for solving the problem. I hope you would have understood the concept. Only thing is when you view from front view where the point where the point falls when you view from the top view where the point falls so just represent it and try to rotate the 
try to rotate only horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise so this is the shortcut for uh, solving the projection of point try to put a straight line and keep it as a x y now try to put, put four lines like this one two three four then try to name it as a dash a a dash a a dash a alternatively the next step is hp vp hp vp hp vp the next step is above in front above in front of below behind lies on lies on try to write these words as i say so once you have this once you have this format means it's very easy for you to solve projection of points so this is the shortcut for solving the projection of points how much ever uh, problems or uh, points they give it's very easy for us solving if you have any doubts just type in the comment section and uh, do subscribe to my channel mechanical motivator and press the bell icon then only you will be getting all the videos which I upload thanks for watching this video